Hey, good morning and welcome to a very, very early morning, an early Sunday morning on the Nottingham and Beeston Canal between Beeston and Nottingham. And I believe there's going to be an absolutely beautiful sky this morning. It's looking very hazy and golden over towards the city centre. So I'm going to take a lovely walk. I'm going to head off all the way past Castle Marina to begin with, the Nottingham Castle Marina. As you can hear, there's plenty of birds around making quite a racket. We're going to then follow the Tinker's Lean. And that's a tributary of the River Lean, just a little way down there, which goes all the way towards where Nottingham Castle once stood. And then that disappears under a beautiful double culvert. We'll go past the castle, we'll go past the courthouses and the old wharf and the British Waterways warehouse still stands proudly opposite that. We'll then continue on past the Nottingham Railway Station before taking a tight right turn and going past London Road Low Level Station, the closed station from the early 1980s, before heading on to Meadow Lane Lock, the River Trent, Trent Bridge, a beautiful, beautiful medieval bridge, which used to be the former Trent Bridge crossing before finishing off beside the Wilford Suspension Bridge. There's a beautiful sky coming up. It doesn't look so much at the moment, but you can see that golden glow. So I really want you to come with me because I think there's going to be a heck of a lot of drone footage, some lovely music and a little bit of information along the way. What more can you want? Come on, let's go. That's Castle Bridge Road behind us. Got a couple of noisy fellas down there. There's a swan down there. There should be two of them. I've just seen the other one somewhere. It's the Water's Edge Bar on the right hand side. And we're coming back down to Canal Towpath level. The best thing about doing it at this time on a Sunday morning is there probably isn't going to be a soul about. I've not seen a single person yet and I can't see anybody ahead of me either and there are a few boats tied up and I imagine people are still sound asleep as probably most sane people are at this time of day on a Sunday it's just approaching 6am quite a bit of bird song at this time too now we're going to be approaching the Tinker's Lean very very shortly on the right hand side as I said previously that's a tributary of the River Lean and it's often it's kind of like a, an overflow for the main river and there's plenty of water going down at the moment but it does tend to dry out in the late spring and summer months and we need to keep an eye out for it appearing on the right hand side from where it comes from underground so this is where it appears look from its underground little culverty section not sure if it comes out from there too but it's pouring out there and you'd assume that it's coming from the canal wouldn't you looking at it from that angle but the river lean is about half a mile down there and that is where it begins its journey and there's quite a bit of water in it at the moment and it stays with us on the right hand side of the towpath for around about 500 meters just over 500 meters we've got the castle retail park on the right hand side with numerous outlets dominated by furniture and bed shops a noisy fella down here well, there's two of them obviously a bit of a social issue going off there
Now I've been trying to do this bit with the Nottingham Castle for ages and you lot just keep talking very very loudly. So you want to let me get on with it please? Thank you very much. So up there you can see what is the current Nottingham Castle that was built in the late 1600s. Now it was part of a huge fire in 1831 and it ended up being derelict. There was like a civil war that went off around that time. And it lay derelict until 1875 before it was restored by Mr. Thomas Hine. I haven't been in there since I was around about eight years old. My mother used to take me in there. Of course, it's not the original building. The original one was taken down many, many decades before this one was put up. And it was quite a castle, I believe, before this one was built. But it's still a pretty beautiful building right now. Thank you very much. You've been lovely. It took me about seven attempts to get that because they were just being so, so loud. Right here, something else very, very loud. And it's the overflow for the Nottingham Beeston Canal going down into our Tinker's Lean. And there's a really, really lovely double culvert just down here. Let's go take a look. So this is where the Tinker's Lean, it disappears. It was culverted a long, long time ago to allow building on top. We've got the courthouses just over there and numerous other buildings just here. And it goes underground before making an appearance on the other side of the railway line. It then proceeds to run alongside the railway line before being culverted once again, all the way to the River Trent, just around about where Meadow Lane Lock is, where we're going today. Now that does dry out and last summer, around about July time, I looked at it and thought, is it worth a little wonder? Because the water level, it goes down about another foot and foot and a half. The flow tends to stay to the one on the left when it's really marginal and that one goes bone dry on the right. But I wouldn't like to think what might be up there. Coming up to Castle Lock, you see some glorious golden sunlight in the distance and annoyingly a little bit of breeze too. This is Castle Lock, it's lock number six, and it's right beside the Navigation Inn. A rather nice pub if you fancy a quick one, when you can moor up just down there. And there's the iconic British Waterways building lock, coming into view on the other side of Wilford Street. This golden glow of the sun is really starting to unfold now. Underneath Wilford Street, and out of the other side. Isn't that starting to look absolutely stunning? And look at the British Waterways warehouse, repurposed for many kind of uses right now. It's good that that is still intact and looking absolutely astonishing.
Now this was a former canal arm coming in off the main Nottingham Beeston Canal and there used to be numerous warehouses here where now you can see it's the Justice Centre it's the courthouse isn't it? I'm not going to put the camera on there for too long because I don't want anybody saying anything it was connected to the railway and it used to bring in all sorts of good traffic on and off the canal by boat by rail numerous bars on the left hand side if you're not familiar to the area by the way you can cross over that bridge as well numerous bars on the left and also you've got the Nottingham Narrowboat project coming into view if you fancy a little cruise up and down the canal you can get in touch with them and we're back to go underneath Carrington Street if I turn you about you can see up you can walk over there should you wish to and there's the old canal museum fellows Morton and Clayton and the canal house bar on the left so listed as bridge number six you've got part of the former great central railway viaduct just here look and it was repurposed for the Nottingham Express Transit the tram network after it was closed in the 1960s as part of the main railway network going into the city centre and off towards Loughborough, Leicester and onto London in that direction you can see where it was demolished though to repurpose for the tram and a new fabricated viaduct was installed for that and we're going to get ourselves underneath here this is Trent Street bridge number five immediately after the viaduct and we're underneath the arches now look let's take a look backwards where we just come from so that's Carrington Street bridge down there very low this one if you're coming down on a bike you definitely want to either duck or get off and on the right hand side you're going to have the capital one bank buildings and Nottingham colleges are on the left over there we're going to come up to a really tight hairpin right turn and the former Nottingham London Road low level station will be on our left London Road we've just been under it's on the right hand side as well we're coming up to the former London Road station the low level station opening in 1857 and closing to passengers in July 1967 it continued to be used for goods for some time and I believe parcel services until around 1980 1981 and there she stands repurposed as a Virgin Active Health Club.
you know what? It might be worthwhile becoming a member for a month or so in that place because you never know. There must be still rooms and passageways and doorways and cellars underground which still look pretty much as they did back in the day. Got Nottingham East Cross Depot over there. East Cross Depot is the East Midland Railway hub for Nottingham for maintenance. And we've got this here, look, it's the old warehouse, the Great Northern Railway warehouse, stood derelict for many, many decades. What a shame it stands like that in such a ruin. Wouldn't like to walk around that, I cannot see that being very safe at all. So that's the railway bridge crossing over the Nottingham Beeston Canal, London Road to the right, Nottingham Station out of sight, the other side of that. Going that way, Newark, Grantham, Skegness, Peterborough and so forth. It's listed as bridge number 1C. If we turn about you can see where we just come from. Low level station is up on the right hand side, you can still see a little bit of evidence of that. Look if we look up there, the old canopy from the station just there so for the next quarter of a mile or so there's not really a great deal to see we'll go under a couple of bridges we've still got london road to the right and then we're going to appear at the river trent and meadow lane lock where the canal joins on to the river trent we'll have forest football ground in front of us trent bridge to the right and also the repurposed bridge on our left which used to be the railway line off towards Melton Mowbray, the old Midland railway line closed in the 60s and now repurposed as a busy main road. Lane lock, you've got the overflow just there going straight down into the trend. There's a nice little culvert outlet down there where it all gushes out. I always find it fascinating how some of this lock has been out of use pretty much all of last year, maybe even longer. You've got that covering the paddle up there, the paddle gear, and down here on the right hand side. The paddle gear has also been vacant for I don't know how long. I don't understand why it never gets replaced. I'm really looking forward to coming back through here again on the narrow boat very, very soon. And the water levels are also very, very good. See the colour marker there? 
couple of weeks ago it was right up around about there on the red for danger and advising you not to go down there because we'd just be on the back they've had about three storms in succession of about three different weeks so the water level was extremely high i'm going to get myself up here you can see the forest football ground just there and lady bay bridge is just over there That's Lady Bay Bridge you can see over there, that green and white structure. Now a road, but once a railway. How many of you have been over that and never even realised it was a railway? Locals obviously do. Uh, closed as a railway in the late 1960s and repurposed in the 70s as the road that it is today. Nottingham Forest football ground directly in front of me and Trent Bridge sits a little over there. And there's Meadow Lane lock number seven one more time. There's that outlet I was telling you about, which flows into the Trent off the section of canal just prior to Meadow Lane Lock. So that's Trent Bridge. Look at it. It's looking really nice in this early morning sunlight. But over there on the other side, there's a little bit of a medieval bridge. I believe it was medieval. And there's still around about three arches. Hello, you three. Yeah, good morning to you. Uh, three arches, I believe, of this stone bridge. And I'm hoping, with it being so early, we can get and have a look without looking a little bit stupid standing in front of a busy road. So this was once known as Hathbeth Bridge and it's a beautifully preserved section of what once was the crossing over the River Trent and it dates back to 1364 and it gives you just that little bit of an insight on what the stone crossing used to be like back in the day crossing the formidable River Trent. It's absolutely beautiful isn't it? The amount of times people must go past this on the busy road such as the A60 just above and not even be aware that it is here. That is absolutely lovely, isn't it? Shall we go through it? Shall we go out and have a look at the other side? Here we go. Look at that. And there's even one of those annoying scooters down here. Look, how long that's been there? It's beautiful isn't it? What a nice little bonus on such a beautiful Sunday morning walk. I also like this circular stonework all the way around. It's like being in the base of a railway locomotive turntable. There are some steps up to if you want to come down and see this. Right back to the River Trent and head off towards the suspension bridge.
So that's goodbye to Trent Bridge and Hethbeth Bridge, its old ancient ancestor, and we're coming up to Wilford Suspension Bridge. I'm going to cross over this. Midway through, I'm going to look for a very, very special padlock, which is attached to the side trellis. And then I'm going to carry on walking just a little bit longer before bidding you farewell. That's the Nottingham City War Memorial over there, built in Portland Stone and unveiled in 1927. It was then made into a Grade 2 listed structure in 1972. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? When I get over the uh, suspension bridge here, I'll take the camera and point it at the War Memorial again, just so you can see a little bit closer for yourself. Built to link the two areas of the Meadows and West Bridgeford, this is Wilford Suspension Bridge. It was built in, opened in 1906 and it was originally an aqueduct and a pedestrian bridgeway too. It was originally known as Welbeck Suspension Bridge. It has the longest span of 225 feet and a width of 12 feet too. Now I need to find a padlock on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to find it straight away but we'll give it a go somewhere in the middle and that's Olivia's padlock right in the middle of this very very beautiful bridge on a absolutely beautiful morning Olivia's been mentioned before um, we've been to visit a bench before in Sheldon Field in Cropwell Butler in Nottingham and it's Amy's little girl. So a little reminder of that beautiful little unicorn on this beautiful morning. So thank you very much for joining me on this beautiful walk from Nottingham Castle Marina all the way through to the Trent Embankment along the Nottingham Beeston Canal. We've seen quite a few historical things, haven't we? I'm going to leave you with some views of the City War Memorial. Like, subscribe and comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.